Now, let's look at our body position now. As you can see here, Aaron's body is fairly straight up and down. And Ty, rather than getting ourselves into crouches here, which is going to cop us with knees and elbows, we like to stand more erect here. This is far better for us because this way, our head is above our hips, which is above our feet, like that. Let's tuck our chin, and here is a deal like this. This makes us far more control of what is happening at the top here, particularly if we're having to deal with knees, elbows, of course, uppercuts, and all the other punches and kicks that we can do, which if we had a leaned over body like this, if Aaron was going to bring a knee through, for instance, here like that, I'd be in big trouble. Okay. So we really want to keep ourselves up like this. Because the orientation of the body to the opponent, we have it slightly turned away. It's around about a 30 degrees, so we're not square on that. We're certainly not 45 or even more on here like this. We're around about 30 degrees like that. So we've got a little bit of square, but not quite like that. If I was coming into clinch, then I'd square up, but we'll deal with that when we come to the clinching section. Okay, see who we are here. Body orientation, again, the feet, up on the balls of the feet, bending those knees, body straight up and down, slight angle here. Okay. Tuck the chin in, and lift your, if you'll lead shoulders, in my case, of course, it's the left, the south will be the right, I lift the shoulder, just a little bit here like that. So it's covering that chin, and pull the chin down to it. Don't overdo this, don't get into this sort of stuff, here like this. Just lift a little bit high, and keep your chin in tight, like that. Now the hand positions. These can vary. The general position here, this is where we are. Aaron has his head, he's up, his palms out here like this, his elbows down to here. The hands are at eye level here, not below eye level, they're up here. Now this would be the general position here like that. It's where you'll see most of us work from. The arms are just going to be moving with their body, so we get this movement up and down like that. So we're transferring your body weight. We want a sort of a, you can sort of put it, a relaxed firmness. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but in other words, we're firm, we're ready to go, but we're still fairly relaxed. So because if we tighten up too much, we're going to wear ourselves out real fast. Now, other hand positions, as I say, this is the general one. Sometimes we pull them just a little bit further and close to, to the head like that. This is really the position you're looking at for guys who are probably going to elbow through here or clinch. Okay. Okay. There's a little bit, allowing you a little bit more. They want to get a little bit closer so they can put these elbows in. Okay. Then others you'll see where the hand positions generally start to move up and down like this here, a little bit here. Quite often we see this with punches. The longer the hand position here usually is indicative that they'll tend to be kickers, okay? Because they, they want to hold this range just a little bit longer out here. Okay. So think about that. Longer the range, generally kickers. Hands in position here, you'll be moving a little more close to the head, fist open, fist closed, probably a punching orientated attack. Closer in here, looking at it, elbows and also probably clinches. Okay, but that's only a guideline, guys. Not, uh, it means hold that stop. Now another point with the hand position here, and then we've got it above the eyes, like this. Now another point we must make here is the palms facing out, around about 45 degrees. You see it there? So either open or close like that. But have them facing out. This is stronger as opposed to this straight up and down, or this. You see some boxes or this. Have them like this. Now I put it to you. One, this is stronger because the hands are already in position to parry and block, like this here. Okay? Two, they're already to reach and grab. They're already part way there. They don't have to be turning anywhere like this. They don't have to change their position. Because here they have to turn out, for instance. Here they have to turn that way or turn that way. But most importantly, if you guys are into weight training, have you ever tried to do tricep extensions with your hand like that? This is, this is like that. Have you ever tried to do tricep extensions with the machine with your hands that way? So in other words, what I'm saying, this would be your hands here pushing that way. 
or for that matter, that way. Not so bad this way, but try and move them that way. Very difficult. But now turn your hands this way. Remember, most of us, when we work in a triceps extension, we have that bar which is just slightly angled here, and this is where we are pressing down. That's, this is where we've got a lot of power. So here we have the same hand position up here, you see? There's a lot more power and strength in having arms so that. So turn them 45 degrees out like this, palms facing forward. Very important. 